we saw recently with the release of the Sex and the City movie, um, there was a lot of, there were whispers yeah. that maybe it wouldn't do all that well, or that, and it was going up against, I think, Indiana Jones at the time it came out. And it came out and had a phenomenal weekend. So, so probably didn't surprise you at all, but it surprised some it, of those Hollywood insiders a little bit about just how well it did. Well, I, I, will, I will never forget that weekend because I had no idea how well it was going to do. I figured it's going to do well. It has a huge fan base. But I remember my agent emailing me on Saturday. You know, they, it had opened 29 million. Now it's up to 55 million. It's amazing. And, it was huge. And it was so strange. I went to a, a couple of events that weekend. It was, it was so strange to, to be out in New York thinking like, wait, I have the number one movie of this weekend. It yeah. was, I mean, that's something that, well, you knocked, well, you you knocked Indy Jones off the, off, the, off the top of the mountain. Well, you know, but, there's um, a, theaters, the, the theatrical release thing is so muscular, obviously. There's so much there. Yeah, it's, and a movie like this, um, I think there's th thinking, oh, there'll be some women who went, or they went, but people went in droves they and went groups in droves, and over and over again. And they went to see it again and again. And I think, I, you know, even with Lipstick Jungle, which is a new series on, you know, new series on NBC, we're in, into the second season. It was a struggle at first. I mean, I had so much support from all of the women at NBC. And the reason why it's even on the air is because NBC has, you know, five or six amazing female executives that said, we really want to put on something that we want to see. And, but it's still, it's still a struggle to get female-driven programming on, on network TV. I mean, it's not something that, you know, they automatically go to, and it's, a, it's still a struggle in the movies. Um, Do you get tired of talking about Sex and the City ever? I mean, it's just part of you now, and it's, it's this huge no, industry. No, I mean, I, you know, I, I love it. I think it's a fantastic show. I love the movie. You know, I adore, um, I adore Sarah Jessica Parker and, you know, the other girls, and I, you know, it's just, it's just been it's a part of my life for, yeah. for so long. I don't know if they're going to make another movie. That's, that's out of my hands. Yeah. But, you know, I'm as crazy about them as, as everyone, and, and it just keeps getting better and better, really. Yeah, it keeps going. It keeps going. It's wonderful. But now you have Lipstick Jungle. You talked about it. It's on NBC. It's on the second season yes. now, which is second great. Second season. And you landed a pretty huge coup. I mean, you have Mary Tyler Moore coming onto the show, which is we, amazing. Well, I How actually, did you do that? I didn't have anything to do with that. Um, I'm an executive producer, but I'm I I'm not involved in the casting. I kind of was at the beginning, and then. It's a great cast already. It's got Brooke Shields yeah, and Andrew McCarthy and, and Kim Raver and some great actors and, and actresses. And, right, and Lindsay Price and Paul Blackthorne, who's fantastic. Um, but and it's this whole sort of magical alchemy that's, you know, there's a big casting department at NBC and, and they're casting agents and they all kind of put it together. And mm -hmm. after a certain point, I was just like, let them do it. Um, but Mary Tyler Moore, they sent her the script, and she wanted to do it, and she loved it, and she hasn't done TV for 20 years, and I saw her on the set a couple of times, and I was, I, I was just so thrilled. I mean, she's an icon. She's amazing. She was, um, you yeah. know, she's Mary Tyler Moore, it's and, a and huge she was the up. first, not the first working woman, but. She was so iconic, and she was she was wonderful, um, and in, and her part is so she plays Wendy's mother, and her part is so interesting because Shields it's she character. she plays Brooke Shields' mother, and she the part's so interesting because she plays a woman who is seventy, who had to give up her career at a certain point, and who didn't want to so. She really like shows us a different side of, you know, the the career women. You know, young women are like, I don't know if I should get married. I don't know if I should have a career. Should I try to do both? Here's a woman who she's done it all and she wants that career back. Mm -hmm. 